local judge and even a prosecutor punched right in front of the courthouse. Now, the man accused of hitting them has been convicted of randomly punching strangers in the past. Our Jennifer Dowling is live now at the courthouse where he was arraigned this afternoon. Good afternoon. Now, this is a stack of uh, contacts that he's had with law enforcement in his past 69. That's a lot. Today, he's been charged with harassment as well as assault. So, in the courtroom, the 46 year old appeared to yawn as he was heading in to face a judge and to hear the charges against him. He was brought into the Multnomah County courtroom for arraignment, and he's accused of hitting prosecutor Stacy Hayworth. She told me by phone she couldn't comment because she was both a prosecutor and a victim in the case. He's also accused of hitting pro tem judge Monica Harans, a public information officer for the court, told me she is not doing media interviews right now about this case. Meanwhile, the judge refused to release Ellis, and he protested. Take a listen. Court documents show that he was sentenced just over three years ago for punching three people at that time. A woman reported that he was talking to himself before hitting her in the face on MLK and Oregon Street in Portland. On the same day, a man and his wife said he randomly hit them while they were sitting on the MAX train. When police found Ellis, they say he was under the Burnside Bridge in 2015, twitching and sticking his tongue out. It does appear that he has a history of mental illness back in 2012 when he was facing another set of charges. Charges. He was actually sent to the state mental hospital for treatment there. And we'll have more on what happened in court today at 5 and 6. Back to you.